What's up ladies? I'm your girl Lerna Marie. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you 100 items that I bought at the dollar store. How is this possible, you ask? I have no idea. Did I hide my bags from my husband? Possibly. But today, I'm going to show you everything that I got. And if you like this sort of thing, definitely consider subscribing. I do a lot of mommy, lifestyle, organization, haul videos, and I would love to have you. I'll be linking as much as I can find for you in the down bar below, including my website. It has all of my favorites in one place so if you want to see what I bought the hundred items that I bought that I had to hide from my husband from the dollar store then just keep watching this is not gonna be in any particular order your girl basically walks in the store and I'm like, okay, we're just gonna look and get a couple of things. Next thing you know, let me grab four of those. Yeah, we need some of those. And I'm like, ah, how did this happen? The first things I'm gonna show you guys is Halloween stuff. There's no particular order that I'm gonna be showing you guys this stuff. I'm gonna just start pulling things out of my bag. All right, we got two of these pumpkin carving kits. And I'm just like, dude, there's, it doesn't even matter if you spend five or a dollar. I think it's just, they're all gonna be bad quality. So he just, Get what you can. Okay, so I homeschool and I always look for little prizes for my kids. And so I kind of tricked them. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, pick out like five things each, you guys. And they're like, what, really? Oh my God, they were super pumped. And then when I got in the car, I'm like, by the way, you know those things you picked out? You have to earn those. They're like, what? Can we get one right now? And I'm just like, no, you can't. You gotta earn them in school. So. They have a whole treasure box. They picked out a bunch of things. My son loves these finger skateboards and they have to screw them in. I think there's, oh, six and up. So um, this is definitely for like an older kid. I got my toddler one, I'll just have my son put it together. But there's a bunch of different like colors and all that good stuff. So those are going in there. And then, okay, this is like so nostalgic for me, you guys. Lisa Frank, I'm a 90s kid, do you guys? Remember Lisa Frank. I remember you were a cool kid if you had like all the Lisa Frank stuff and the little containers and then you got the pencils and you had like the more like little knickknacks you had, the cooler you were. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> so anyways, I love the fuzzy velvet posters. So they have a bunch of these. They even have big ones. We have those too, but these are for our treasure. This is a fun thing too. These are these little ninja wall crawlers. They have little sticky balls that you throw them at the window or at the wall, unfortunately. Don't worry, they don't stain or anything, but they stick to things and they do these little flips on the way down. So the kids love these things. I, I feel like I'm gonna get a couple more of these. This would be great on a road trip. I think this would keep the kids busy for a while. So, oh, another one of these. So we got three packs of those. Okay, oh, and I really like these. I got two of these. I got two of these. These remind me of the mom hooks, but a smaller version. So you hook these on your stroller, you hook them on whatever, you can put hair ties on them, you can, all kinds of stuff. These have like the padded stuff, and a lot of the stuff from the dollar store is not, is like good quality, You're like, eh, that feels really flimsy. These are good. This is by Toolbench Hardware, you guys. I'm, I'm impressed with the quality of these, like, really really good so I got two of those I also got glow sticks I love getting these from the dollar store I have like I said a Disney video coming up soon and I get these to go to Disneyland because I'm not paying $20 for those things especially because we live in Southern California and we go all the time Mama's not doing that they still ask though and mama still says no but I say look what I got instead <laughs> I'm like, hey, look at this. This is better. You can make things out of it. You can get creative, you know? So we got the big ones and two packs of the bracelets. I'm pretty sure I got two big ones. I don't know where that one went. But, so also, we got Disney type of deal. This is Mickey Road Racer. And this is a nice gift if you're going to Disneyland. You can buy stuff like this before you go. I'm gonna have a whole video on this coming up very soon. So, but this is one of the items that I found. I also did colors and shapes, Mickey ones. My son is obsessed, obviously, since we go. My two-year-old knows, like, Mickey, but he calls him, he has his own, like, name for him. It's so, but I'm getting these because I like to deck out my stroller. So, I got two of these and they light up. Lighting up, it is lighting up. You just can't probably see it very good, but those light up, super cute. So, I also got bags because and these ones aren't too big, which is good because I don't like my kids getting too much. I just want them to have the experience, but I hate when I have like millions of things of candy. I'm just like, 
it's just too much. It's too tempting for me. I'm like crack when I'm around candy. It's like crack for me when I'm around candy. I like, I can't resist. I'm just like, it like calls my name. It's just like Snickers, Reese's. I'm just like, please stop calling my name. So my rule to my kids, I'm trick or treat and we don't go too crazy. And then I let them eat a bunch of candy that night. And what I like to do is make little packs for the movie theater. And then I'll write our names on them and then we'll split them up. So then I'm like, okay, I won't get into those because I'm not trying to steal my kids' candy with their name on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I will if it's really, if the craving's really that bad. But so these bags I got, they're smaller and I feel like, oops, they won't be as crazy, you know, to fill up. So they'll feel like it's a lot, even if it's not as much. But I got this one for my oldest son and then this one for my two year old and this one for my daughter. So. We also have these bows we got, and I decorate our stroller, like I was saying, for the Disney party, and we got two different ones. I might put one in the front and one in the back, but so these are super cute. Oh, and then um, I got this little Mickey racer thing, coloring book. All right, let's just get let's just get this one out of the way. This is kind of heavy. So I am doing um, I'm doing a video coming up this week. Well, I'm filming it this week. I'll be posting it next week but I have a fun family night video coming up for you guys. So I bought some of this stuff. Let's see if you guys can kind of guess the theme in the down bar below in the comments. So I got two bowls, two of these bowls here. And then we've got, okay, so this is the kind of stuff that my husband gets so mad because I just like having stuff on hand, but like this, I got some beer mugs, and I like making micheladas. It's just so much fun to me. I just love the way like the Bloody Mary mix type of deal tastes. And in beer, it's so good. But I got some of these. I have two big ones. And when we had company, I was like, oh, we don't have these? And I was like, okay. So when I saw these at the dollar store, I'm like, okay, let's do this. So I got, I'm pretty sure I got four of these. So if you can imagine what my cart's looking like, I have all this glass and all this toys and everything. Yeah, here's another one of them. So it's two. Yes, I got four of them. Three and then four. I got two of these plates that match these bowls. And you know what? These are super nice quality. Like, I really, really like these. And these are not to set my table or anything, but they're to do a display. Next bag. We got these. This is for another family night party that I'm doing, and I'll be sharing that with you guys as well. But we have four of these. So super cute for Halloween. Then I got some peanuts. We're doing a mukbang, guys. You guys watch mukbangs. I think it's mukbang, mukbang. One gram of sugar, interesting. Anyways, have you guys been watching these mukbangs? How do you guys feel about them? I'm totally into it. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Anyone else like them? A peanut just went down my shirt. Okay. Next bag, here we go. Oh, I got this for my toddler for his pumpkin. It is a little pumpkin face. So he can stick these in the pumpkin instead of having to carve it. So it'll be so much easier for him and such a good idea. My youngest baby is only one, so next year she'll be able to do stuff like this. So I don't even think we're gonna get her pumpkin. That sounds really mean, but she'll be fine. Okay, my son got these cap, what is this, ring caps for a gun. Obviously you got a gun, yes, here it is right here. So this is going into our little prize box. So we got this GIF to go. And I was calculating because they had, what is it, the Nutella ones where you dip it and there's Nutella and those are a dollar each. And then I was like, okay, well how much are the pretzels? Cause we got a pack of pretzels. My daughter already started eating them, but there's six pretzels in one pack. So obviously that's super cheap. Whatever. I'm like, I'm going for that. I said, put the Nutella things back. We're going for this. And this is chocolate silk, which I think is probably really good. I haven't got a chance to try it yet. You know what? Let's try it. I love when people try their food. Well, obviously I just told you I like lip balms. The other thing that they got was these. I didn't let them open them yet. So they're gonna be like, mom, you opened our food, you told us not to eat. And I'm like, yeah, I had to try it on camera, right? This is not on the diet plan. But one little bite's not gonna kill me, right? I'll give the rest to my son. Okay, so here's what the chocolate looks like. I'm gonna get in here and get a good scoop of it. Ooh. Mmm. What does that taste like? 
It's super smooth. Some of the stuff from the dollar store, it tastes old. I'm not even gonna lie. That, I'm just gonna finish it. I'm not, that's it. Mm-hmm. Try it. So my son also got some Oreos. There's four packs, two cookies each, which I think is so good because some of those packs have like six cookies or four cookies and I'm like, that's too many. This is perfect. And what would be really good? If you took an Oreo and you dipped it in that chocolate. Oh my God. This thing I'm super excited about and I was mad because this was the only one. I came to the store for this and I came out with all of this. This. It is so cute. It's one of their little balloon animals. This is the elephant. I've seen the dog and all this stuff. They had like the other dog. It didn't look like a balloon animal. I'm like, eh, it's okay. And then I saw the ones that um, some other girl got. She's like a big, you know, Dollar Tree person. They were like unicorns. We got one, actually, my daughter got it. I didn't personally like it because it was super tiny, but I mean, it's good for like kids in their room and stuff, but this is so cute. Okay, so next I got this. I never see round ones and I found a round one. I have a round dinner table and I like getting these plastic ones so when the kids do like art projects or whatever, I just throw this on the table. I got a bunch of these. I'm doing these in, um, what are those called? The pumpkins. So I think I got six, three. Yeah, so six of these. Well, there's two in each, so I got six of those. I got three of these. These are the canvas panel, which this is super nice quality, you guys. So if your kids want to do like an art project or something, um, you guys know I homeschool, so this is really good for them. It just feels special. I try to do things like this so my kids don't feel like they're getting less. I want them to feel like they're getting more because they stay at home. You know what I'm saying? A dog frisbee. My son keeps trying to take this. I'm like, wait, boy, I got to film a video first. So I'm gonna go give that to him soon. And my daughter got these little sticky hands. This was one of her items for the treasure box. Let's put that up here. My son got a, my son got a yo-yo. That was one of his little things. My son loves a yo-yo and he's actually pretty good. He's 10. Also that was taken was two of these light up swords for my toddlers. And I had to use these to entertain them. And they were like whacking the crap out of each other. And like people walking by, I'm like, stop, stop. But I don't know if you guys do this. I always take shopping as a learning experience. Even though it's hard and sometimes it's stressful, I'm like, I literally reprimand my kids in front of the whole store. I stop. I've had even parents come up to me, or like, it's usually grandparents, honestly. They're like, you know what? Keep doing what you're doing with your kid. This is amazing. I always get that. Or I always get the comment like, wow, your kids are so well behaved because I crack the whip when I'm out. Like, whoosh. Not, the, not like the real whip, but I crack the whip when I'm out. And I tell my kids like, be respectful, there's lanes. I teach my kids about all that because they don't know that there's an imaginary lane when you're walking down the aisle. You stay to one side. Like there's all these things that I'm consistently teaching them. These are little mini canvases that I thought were super cute. I don't think I said, canvases. Talk right, girl. <laughs> so anyways, uh, these are really good for art projects as well. Oh, pillowcase. What the hell? This is a satin pillowcase. Okay, I thought this was a shower curtain. That's what I thought this was because I wanted to um, use it as a tablecloth. I was gonna see if this was gonna work, but obviously a freaking satin pillowcase isn't gonna work. I wouldn't sleep on this. Mm -mm. Nope, wouldn't sleep on it. But you can make a Christmas pillow out of it if you wanted to. Eh, I'm disappointed about that one. Okay, dollar down the drain. Anywho, I got these for another one of our family night parties coming up. This black plate. My daughter got these little things for her little prize box. And I'm like, honey, these are really cheap. I don't know why you're gonna get these. She's like, but they're for my American doll, mom. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. So those are for her American. Are these pillowcases too? <clears throat> these are all pillowcases. Wah, I'm sad. Okay, three of those. Eh. Okay, here's the little thing that I was telling you guys about. It's a little unicorn really pretty little iridescent flakes and she likes it, it's so cute. I wouldn't personally buy it for anything that I would use it for, but for a little girl, this is such a cute little gift. I mean, if you're having a unicorn party or whatever, I love going to the dollar store and getting like one big dollar item instead of super like crusty little plastic toys that they're just gonna go in the trash and parents hate them anyways. But having one little token gift like this, you're gonna spend a dollar, at least a dollar per bag anyway. So if you do something like this, it's a really nice gift. I remember one year we did like 
Dollar Tree like guns or something. It was for his like spy party. And people were like, wow, this is awesome. But I'm like, I would have spent that same amount. Might as well just get like a couple big nice items from the dollar store. I got some Diet Snapple peach tea. This is the best flavor. Is this, is this really my last bag? Is that already a hundred things? See, like that doesn't, this doesn't even seem like it. This is for our party coming up. Hmm. Those orange plates and this little guitar. What could that be for? Some more black plates, paper plates. You guys, so I got two of the peanut butter and two of the chocolate flavor of these. And then we got two packs of pretzels and they have six of them and they're missing because my daughter took some to school today. But we got two packs of those as well. Next, we got these LED emergency candles. And I thought these were really cute. I'm gonna use these also for our party coming up here. So there's six of these, which are super cute. I got some green silverware for our party coming up soon too. So I got four frostings, two chocolate and two vanilla. I was hoping to show you guys what the vanilla container looked like, but I obviously put it away. So um, I got two each. Always check the expiration dates at the dollar store. This is December 14th, 2019. So we're good to go on this one. So this was some of the prizes that my son really wanted. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh little cards. And he got this little mini Jenga set, which this is pretty cute. That'd be like a good traveling um, game to bring for the family and put it in a little pack. I got some of these cups to go. Dude, no, I'm missing a bag. I'm missing a bag, I'm gonna go find it. But um, I got these cups to keep in my car. This is good to have as an emergency. I'm gonna put these in my bottom flap of my car. If you guys haven't seen my car organization video, I'll link it in the down bar below for you, but I like to keep stuff like this in my car. Two items out of here, oh, last four items. We have three puzzles, but this is really good for on the go. I feel like you could bring these into a restaurant. I also have a video on all of my entertainment stuff that I do for the kids on the go and my restaurant bag. So definitely check that out in the down bar, but I love keeping stuff like this on hand to go. And then I got some socks. I'm gonna keep this pack of socks in the car as well. Just somebody, actually one of my subscribers suggested keeping socks in the bottom. She said for the jump house places or whatever. And even mom has to have socks at those places to go into the baby area. So I'm keeping these for me. It looks like Hoarder's buried alive in here. It really does. Okay, then I got these. I'm keeping these in the car as well. They are paper cups and they have so they're like coffee cups with the lids on them, so I like those. Then I got this, two of these. I got two of these for our party as well. Pretty sure they had a bunch of different colors, but these are very nice quality, you guys. Like, this is just what you expect these type of things to be, these, play, these like woven placemats. Oh, and I got some more beer glasses. These are really, really pretty. I got four of these as well. Yep, one, two, three, and four. So four of all those same, same of this glass right here. I already counted these, so these don't count. But like I said, oh, I guess I got three chocolate. Three chocolate and two peanut butter. So we'll add one more chocolate on there. Oh, and I already counted these. This is the other pack, the other pack's downstairs. But I already counted these. These are those pretzels I was talking about. And I also got a couple pairs of socks for the babies to have in the car as well. And then I got two of these for our party coming up. What is it? I don't know. Last but not least, we got one more of these. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my 100 item Dollar Tree haul. I had so much fun doing this for you guys. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you watching my video from beginning to end. It means so much to me. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell, and give your girl a thumbs up. I'll be listing everything that I can in the down bar below for you guys. And question, what do you guys like to buy from the Dollar Tree? What are some of your favorite items? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Linda Marie. Bye.